Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's SQL Payroll System tutorial, I'll talk about Leaf Entitlement Processor and also Leaf Applications. For other SQL Payroll and Accounting tutorial, please go to syntax.com.my. Now, let's go to SQL Payroll. For the first time, after you set up all the Leaf informations and settings, then you need to go to Leaf and run the leaf entitlement processor. The same things apply when you have a new start. Let's say we have a new start called Alice. Okay. We only set it Alice so that I just want to show you the leaf entitlement processor and also the leaf application. So I can go to leaf, leaf entitlement processor and run for the year. If you are using SQL Payroll for the first time, when you run this leaf entitlement processor, this message will not pop up. You will directly go to the end result. Else, let's say you only run this for your new stuff, do not overwrite it. Just click open will do. Okay? So when open, you can see that Alice is zero. Okay? And the rest, they will be calculated accordingly. And you may have different balance and amount over here if they have applied leave before. Now, what you need to do is you need to calculate the entitlement for the new stuff for Alice. So what you need to do is click on Alice, then click calculate entitlement. Okay. If there is entitlement, then it will appear accordingly. As you can see now, there's no entitlement. This cannot be true, right? meaning that you have missed out something. So what is that? Close this one, close this one, go back to employee and go to Alice. Basically you have missed out is the join date. Let's say Alice join date is 1st of November, example. So let's go to leave Leave entitlement processor, process, open, and run the entitlement again. So you can see that the system will automatically calculate for you for the entitlement. But if you are not satisfied or maybe because there are some other reason that you want to change or edit the entitlement, so what you need to do is you can directly overwrite example. You already have um, you already have run your own payroll from beginning of the year until now, and in November then only you purchase SQL payroll. So of course there's directly the balance instead of you need to run the whole processor and apply leave again. So that's why you can directly set the entitlement. Maybe uh, you can change it to one instead of one point seven or or for MC wise you want to change. So just change the value over here, then save. And this is how you run the entitlement. And the next step is for leave applications. What you need to do is go to leave, leave application, click on new leave applications, select the employee who want to apply for leave, as Alice, and apply leave. So Basically, what you need to do is you just click on the leave type, let's say annual leave, and you want to apply for leave on 28. So if the leave he taken is over, okay, because you see the annual leave limit is 0 0.9, but now you apply for one. So whether you can allow it, not allow it, or transfer to unpaid. So let's say you allow it. That and you can see that at the bottom over here will show you the balance of all the leaf, and over here is actually when he, she applied different different leaf. So if she applied for MC, then you just click on the medical leaf MC and click on certain date. It will show over here, and of course it will deduct from here also. So you can see the actual balance. So. Basically, this is how you do the leave entitlement processor and also leave application in SQL payroll system. Once again, thank you for watching. 
And I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.